this is what our politics has brought us to. Where a citizen in the country stands up and asks the question, well, how many more elections like 2020 do we have to go through before we start killing people? And it wasn't out of a concern that that may happen. It was because it was something he thought was necessary to do. What the hell is wrong? That this is the way we engage politically? Folks, that's not Republican. It's not Democrat. It's not independent. That's bull. That's wrong. It's un-American. And yet we seem to sit passively by. The media exploits it. Political grifters raise money off of it. And you wonder why the hole we're in gets bigger. I'm reminded of the words when, of Dr. King when I heard that. And I played that tape of that young man over and over about three or four times before I got on the plane this morning. I wrote down the words of King what I want to share with you now. Dr. King once said, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. What matters to you? Are you concerned that your fellow citizens want to use you as a target if you disagree with them politically? If you don't embrace their chosen candidate? That doesn't matter to you? It matters a hell of a lot to me because I know my country's better than that. I know my fellow men and women, American citizens, are better than that. We've been through a whole lot more than this, folks. And yet we seem so quick and ready to give in, give up. I and my fellow Republicans cannot heal ourselves or the wounds we've caused this great nation while clinging on to Donald Trump. Can't do it. And you're hearing Republicans out there from time to time say that, but the truth is it can't happen. In order to compete in the growing and diverse marketplace of ideas, Republicans must reunite under our shared principles without Trump. Republicans must reclaim our credibility without Trump. The Republican Party must affirm once again and reimagine in this 21st century our sources of inspiration and leadership as a party, not of Trump, but a party of Lincoln and Douglas, anchored by the philosophies and principles articulated by Locke, Burke, and Hamilton, framed by common sense policies for all working men and women of America. 